Kings. Welcome to my channel. I am Mr. Sean. This is my wonderful kitchen. You're about to see another wow cooking segment. Today on the on the sheet we have sweet candied potatoes, spice bread stuffing, tender shovel tusk steak, and to top it off, a winter veil eggnog. Yes, it is the seasonal foods of this end of the year. Could have been for Use, useful for next Thanksgiving, could be useful for now until the end of the year. So, hope you enjoy this. All right, we're gonna begin with cutting up some old dwarf spice bread. Had about half a loaf from a previous video. Gonna put in some cup of milk or two, stir it around, get let it soak in. Got an onion to cut up. Basically doing half recipes. You're supposed to use a full lo loaf of spice bread, but I uh, ate most of the previous loaf. So, gonna do half a pear. Cutting up half a Fiji apple. Got some nice sage. Some Italian parsley and some thyme. Now I'm gonna melt down some butter. Throw in my onions to get them nice and transparent. Now throw in some eggs, throw in the seasoning, throw in the fruits. It's all softened up a little bit. Now bring it in. Pop it off over the bread and just mix it all up. Once that's all good and ready, pop it into the, the glass pan. Cover it, throw it in the oven. Now on to candied sweet potato. I'm throwing them into a pot to boil until soft. Remove the skin, cutting them up. I line a glass Pyrex pan with the sweet potatoes. Here I'm making some autumnal herbs with dried rosemary, thyme, marjoram, cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. Now for, for the recipe, took a teaspoon or so of the spice, mixed it in with some melted butter and honey. then pour it right on top of the sweet potatoes. Now pop that sucker in the oven. Now I gotta make the meringue for, for the potatoes, which is calls for an egg white, and you need to spin the crap out of it. Now I screwed up the meringue. I had to do it again. Once you beat it to a stiff peak, you put in maple syrup and marshmallow fluff. Out comes the spice bread pudding, and out comes the candied sweet potatoes. And here is the proper way to top the sweet potato. Nice little puffs of marshmallow on top. Now, after you do that, you're supposed to, the, the author says to put it back into the oven for a few minutes to brown the top of it. I didn't have time to, so I grabbed another mechanical tool of sorts. Kids, don't try this at home. Oh yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna make some eggnog. Throw in some sugar and milk into a pan. Slowly heating it up as I introduce six eggs. And spin, spin, spin. Keep that sucker spinning for several minutes. Okay, after, it, after the mixture has thickened, I am pouring it through a strainer into a bowl. Now I'm adding some vanilla, some heavy cream, and the recipe called for brandy and rum. 
I'm doing a substitution for pineapple juice and apple juice and just mixing it right in there. And I just had to try this out warm because who doesn't like warm eggnog? Top, top it off with some nutmeg. Oh, it was amazing. I need to make some northern spices, which consist of nutmeg, smoked salt, which I found a nice hickory blend, juniper berries, cardamom, ginger, some pepper. I'm tossing it all into my spice grinder and giving it a whirl until it's all powder. Now for the steaks. I'm going to put in a small amount of salt, small amount, smaller amount of spices, mix it all up. Now I'm putting on the butter with some oil. I'm taking my spice mix and just pushing it into the meat on both sides. Now I'm going to fry that sucker right up. I'm frying up three steaks. That's why you see one then two. Then after it's done, throw in some red wine vinegar to add to the taste of it and to make a little sauce afterwards. Once the steak's done to your liking, pull it off, cook the remaining juices for a little bit longer to help condense it, to help thicken it, and plate it up, throw it onto the steak. Hello everyone, this is my grand finale. I got some tender shoulder tusk steak, some candied sweet potatoes, <coughs> some nice, delicate, Spice bread stuffing. It is so amazing. So this is awesome. Uh, I wish you were here. You would really enjoy this food. Trust me, this has been awesome. So I have much more to say other than give. I haven't tried. Actually, I have not yet tried the Sholtex steak on camera. It smells wonderful. So do that real quick here. Mmm, oh yeah, those spices are awesome, mmm, mmm, if I didn't mention it in the narration, yeah, the, the, uh, the northern spices is a very earthy smell to it, so this just really, this really goes all out, especially when you add the red wine vinegar, and the butter and the oil, oh, wonderful. Mmm. You wish you were here. Let's go ahead and do a... So, here's to you all my fans. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked this video. Please leave a like, leave a comment below. Did you like what I did in this video? Uh, is there any questions you have about the foods? But as I mentioned before, I am doing one cooking segment per week, so more to come. Going to be some really good fun ones, especially next time, where I'm going to be doing some foods for what else? The college bowl season. It's upon us. It's going to be some really good eats. So here's to you. Oh. <laughs>